We've arrived to that part of the year when we rarely get a warm day, when the peak of mosquito season is almost over and the pollinators are getting as much pollen as they can before the flowers turn into seeds completely. I've been painting outside more often as I know I won't be able to do this for the upcoming six months. The weather in the Hudson Valley turns pretty cold in autumn and winter, with most of our days being under 10 degrees and most of winter being snowed in. I have loved the summer season as it's been beautiful to grow my first garden on land, to be able to paint outside, and it's also been beautiful being able to paint the animals, plants, and mushrooms that I've been encountering in nature. I've been working on this painting about the pollinators since May. It was originally going to be all about the pollinators, but it slowly transformed into a painting about the symbiotic relationships of pollinator animals. These weeks, I've been working on adding five flowers to the painting, Echinacea, passion flower, California poppy, winter buttercup, and red honeysuckle. I also decided to have the border full of polypore mushrooms, and then I will be working on the actual pollinators. I love when I start a painting with an idea, a theme of what I want to paint, and while I work more and more on the painting, the theme starts shifting by itself. Today I am doing some microscopic observation. I have come to the part of my pollinator painting where I want to complete this five circles with microscopic views of pollinators. So first I'm going to check my pre-made slides to see what I have available. I'll be taking photographs and video of the species under the microscope and afterwards I'll be painting them. So come with me to a microscopic and painting day. Even though I've been working with microscopes for years, this is the second time I am dedicating specific big sections of a painting to the microscopic photos I've taken. I have a couple more paintings with microscope looks on the works, but I wanted to share this as I believe it is totally okay to take a long time in mastering a new technique before we start using it on our final paintings or our final projects. These are my two cents for any creator out there. Don't let the internet rush you. Take your time, master your techniques, and please don't forget to play. I need these reminders quite often myself.
It is Friday and today I am packing my five orders for the second edition of the Fungi Painting Print. Each year I open up a new edition for the prints of the Fungi Painting and a new edition means that each year the prints are made on a different type of paper and they are of a different size. So this year they are 27 by 24 inches, I believe and they are made on Hanna Mule paper with a half inch border and I open the edition for around a month and within that month all the orders for the print come in and I can get either zero orders or a thousand orders for the print and I only print in that size in that paper for the edition of that year the amount of prints that I received as orders and this year I received five orders for the print and today I am packing them up and shipping them. My tubes arrived today. Uh, the print arrived maybe like a week ago and in the meantime waiting to receive the tubes I printed the fungi keys which are the outline in black ink for each of the fungi that the painting has. Each of them has a number and then you can go to the back and look up the number and in that way you know the scientific name for each of the fungi as well as which phylum and which division they are on so yeah i thought to make this and film this not only because it's part of what i'm doing in my studio but i wanted to have packing five orders as part of this video's title because as an artist i don't know if if you're an artist as well or a creator of any sorts, an artist, sometimes it might feel a little overwhelming to see all these creators that have in their titles that they are packing 500 orders or 900 orders or just like a gazillion of orders from their shop. And I love that all these artists are getting so many orders, but I think it's also important. I I think I've never gotten over 900 orders um, and I think it is so important to also highlight that creators that are making a living out of their work like myself are not necessarily those getting 500 or 900 orders each month so you know this print is like my masterpiece up until today and this year I only got five orders for this print and I am so thankful for the people that order this print and are helping me to keep going and I think even getting one order or even getting a comment on someone saying like hey your art has inspired me to start working with my watercolors again to start journaling again or to get creative in whatever way I think those little things are the ones we should also be celebrating. So just wanted to say, don't believe the hype. Not every artist on YouTube or in the internet is getting a gazillion orders. I get five and I am so lucky to have five people that want to support my business. So let's pack these orders and let's pack these orders. I also wanted to say that last year when I was packing my fungi prints, the first edition, this was my outfit, so I thought it might be a cool little ritual that I start with myself that every year that I pack the new edition, I will wear the same outfit as long as I still fit on it. So, little ritual starting now. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the virtual home of my online shop, my website, art portfolio, and email campaigns. I've been using Squarespace in 2018 and highly recommend it to anyone looking to share their creative ideas or creative business online. Squarespace professional portfolio designs make it super easy to use and help showcase your art in the best way possible from any device. Their fluid engine tools are also a great way to customize just about everything on your website. You don't need to know coding or anything like that. Squarespace and I are partnering up to offer you a two-week free trial and once you're ready to launch, you can use the code CARO to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain.
I always examine each print in detail. And whenever I find a smudge or a spot that shouldn't be there, those become the artist proofs that I sell later in the year. So far, I've only done this for my limited edition prints, so I'm wondering if I should open a whole section of my shop dedicated to prints with little imperfections and make them available for cheaper. Having a small amount of orders is an opportunity to make handwritten letters to go with each print, and it invites a certain degree of going slower instead of trying to get a lot done faster. I always love packing orders and having enough time to pay attention to all the details like I did today. Don't get me wrong, I also do this when I get a bunch of orders, but there's another level of slowness, simplicity and detail that goes into a small amount of orders. When I pack orders, a lot of hours go into it. And just like my painting sessions, I go from listening to piano artists like Nils Fram or James Heather to then listening to my current favorite audiobooks. Right now I am listening to The Botany of Desire by Michael Pollan and my next one will be Crying in Eight Smart by Michelle Sonter. To then listen to my favorite old school or even new reggaeton like La Rosalia, Ivy Queen and Teo Calderón. Hey, Titi me preguntó si tengo mucha novia, mucha novia, hoy tengo a una, mañana a otra, hey, pero no hay poder, me la va a llevar a toda, pa' un VIP, un VIP, hey, saluden a Titi, vamos a tirar un selfie, say cheese. A lot of people wonder how artists can cope with spending so much time alone, but I love it here in my own little world where I get to paint, ship orders, film videos, and blast my favorite music while singing out, <laughs> definitely out of tune, and dancing. Qué lindo, la van a pasar hermoso. Sí, sí, sí. sí. Salsita verde, claro, porque yeah. no sé si tú te acuerdas que yo me fui a Colombia a mochilear con mis amigas y nos fuimos un mes. Claro. Yeah. Nos fuimos todo un mes con Greta, justo, que la voy a ver en Londres. Nos fuimos con Greta, con Riru, con Diego y con su enamorada. Ah, ya, qué bonito. Y nosotros llegamos a Cartagena después de haber estado en Medellín. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Y antes de Medellín estuvimos en Bogotá. Porque hicimos todo un viaje, ¿te acuerdas? Que comenzamos en Ecuador y de ahí nos hemos ido a Colombia. Y hemos conocido Colombia un mes y medio. Y nos fuimos hasta la punta de Colombia, hasta Punta Gallinas. I love working on plant and mushroom studies as it helps me to slow down and pay attention to all the details each plant has. They are all so different from one another and I believe paying attention to all these details is what makes the botanical illustrations such a meditative practice for so many of us. Every month I paint handmade paintings and I also do digital paintings. Usually the digital ones are for my Instagram gifts 
or for my monthly Patreon rewards. Having that shift in between handmade and digital also helps my practice stay interesting and makes me excited every time I get to do one or the other instead of always doing the same thing. I have so many topics I am eager to explore in my upcoming paintings. I want to work on seed studies, more insects, pollinators, and fruits. Not having enough time to paint everything I want to paint seems like a good problem to have. It's a mushroom-filled summer. I honestly love when I get to forage my own plants and mushrooms. I take a time to observe them up close under the microscope and then paint them. This is honestly the holy grail for me. There's so much that goes into each painting study and it feels like foraging and microscopic observation make my practice feel like a full circle. If you are into making art based on nature, I would invite you to try it out yourself and see how much more exciting the practice becomes. Thank you so much for joining me on today's vlog. Feel free to leave me a comment sharing what have you been creating lately and I'd also love to hear from you any ideas for future videos you'd like to see here on my channel. Thank you once again Squarespace for sponsoring this video and I hope you have a beautiful day ahead. Bye!